Well, after a horrendous autumn dealing with the fallout of combusting batteries in the Galaxy Note 7, Samsung is now reassuring customers that its smaller sized S7 range is not affected by the same issue. The tech giant has given its word that the quality and safety of the Galaxy S7 family are guaranteed. Our Hwang Woo Jun has this report. This time, Samsung was quick to respond. A small number of reports were made to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission that the Galaxy S7, one of Samsung's flagship cell phones, had caught fire due to an overheated battery, in a fashion similar to the ill-fated Note 7. Samsung has reassured its customers that the S7 is safe to use through an official statement released on its website last Friday, saying the explosions were caused by severe external damage rather than internal battery failures. According to an official, the statement was made only in the U.S. because of recent incidents and related media coverage were limited to North America. So far this year, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission has received a total of five reports of either the Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, or S7 Active overheating, catching fire, or their batteries inflating. In contrast, the short-lived Note 7s had 35 cases of batteries catching fire recorded around the world, less than a month after it went on sale. Samsung is still dealing with the aftermath of killing off the Galaxy Note 7, which has caused serious damage to Samsung's mobiles division, the main driver of the company's sales and profits. Samsung's earnings in the third quarter fell by nearly 30%. The Note 7 crisis will likely have an impact on earnings at least until the first quarter of next year. A new product will likely be released then. So unless the brand value gets irrevocably tarnished, we can cautiously assume the situation will improve. The Korean tech giant has since been trying to draw attention to its forthcoming Galaxy S8, which features an integrated digital assistant powered by artificial intelligence. Hwang Woo-jun, Arirang News.